Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Scrotitis Plays Feed the Beast. How are you guys doing today? We are hanging out at our base as usual. We've got big plans today. Big, big plans. Last uh, episode we finished our uh, track and uh, we were going to work on getting the creosote oil out of the tank and into our factory for track making, uh, but we're not going to do that. I've become sidetracked, and I have another plan, uh, something that I want to do. Uh, I thought that it would be kind of cool to uh, to make myself a jetpack, and I, I started researching everything that it takes to, to do a jetpack, and I realized that you need a lot of uh, rubber. So we're going to be working on uh, how we're going to get more rubber. But uh, also, I found a really cool block I want to show you guys. Uh, you take this quartz dust that I didn't think there was any use for prior, and glass. You set it up like this, and you get quartz glass, okay? Let me show you this block. This is really cool. So it's, it's almost exactly like the glass viewer that I loved from the last episode, or the last series. Uh, it was part of... Oh boy, I can't remember the mod now, but you see you can put it down, it joins edges, it's smooth, you can um, you can break it, and you get the block back, so it's just an awesome, awesome block, and uh, I got a plan for something I want to do with it. Now, I've also gone ahead and I've gathered up all the uh, tools that we need, all the uh, machines, to go ahead and construct ourselves a rubber tree farm. All right, that's going to be the main project today, and uh, we're going to do it through the use of uh, industrial craft and computer craft. All right, actually, a large portion of this thing actually working is going to be computer craft. So let's take a little <laughs> little ride, and I'll show you what we've done. Let me actually go ahead and take some of this cobble out here. Um, this entire area is now empty. And uh, we're going to be fixing this. This cobble was actually uh, put in place because of a creeper attack. It was a uh, temporary fix. But uh, yeah, this is my current rubber tree farm. It consists of four um, misshaped rubber trees. So what we've done is we've cleared out an area here. We laid out where we want our trees to go, and now we're planting them down. Basically, we've we knocked out that half wall that we had there, and we're extending the rubber tree farm here. We built up a little platform, and we're spacing ten trees, uh, two rows of five, and uh, they are going to be two blocks apart from one another. All right, let's take a take a peek from back here. These dirt blocks that I have placed is, is representing where the actual rubber tree saplings are going. So uh, basically right like this. Uh, we're looking to get our last bit of rubber out of these guys and then I'll be taking them down as well. There we go. Oh, where'd that, did that, did I get that? Where the heck did that go? I think I got it. Okay. <laughs> All right, so uh, yeah, that's going to be the design, the layout that we've got here. Uh, secondary thing, since I did sort of take that wall down, and that held a lot of mobs out, surprisingly, I'm going to want to construct a wall. And uh, I have a plan for that as well. Surprise, surprise, guys. Everything's planned out. Uh, also, with the space that was underneath here, we had that enchanting table, if you do recall. Uh, that's been moved, and I'm going to use that area for our... Um, sorting and processing of the actual rubber tree extract and uh, production of rubber. So skipping forward here, guys, I, I came across something I thought was kind of interesting. So uh, you put your sticky resin into a powered furnace and you get what? A rubber ball. Fair enough. Um, if you put, I was, I thought if you put rubber wood into a powered furnace that you'd also get a rubber ball. But uh, that is not true. I was thinking of the extractor. Uh, what you get is jungle wood, a log of jungle wood. What's interesting about this is the crafting, if you take a jungle wood plank or log, you get three jungle wood planks. If you take a jungle wood log, you get four jungle wood planks. So again, you put uh, rubber tree log in there, 
and you're going to get jungle tree logs out. So it's basically free wood. Kind of a cool little uh, glitch that I found. So anyway, here's the big setup, guys. We jumped forward a whole bunch. I did a bunch of work off camera, and uh, we'll get to that in a second. I built a wall. I had an idea for a security wall with glass so that we could see through, and then I just have solid blocks on this hillside. I think it looks pretty cool, but the only problem is I don't have anywhere near <laughs> enough of that glass, and I want the wall actually to, to span this entire hillside so that nothing can get in from down in that valley. A lot of mobs have been coming up this hillside. I think it's the main place where we actually attract mobs from, and so I want to have it all blocked. Uh, we started the process. It looks pretty good, but uh, I need some more of that quartz dust. Uh, I've also been trying to knock down the blocks so that there's at least a too high block level from the very top and, and the nearest one so they can't jump over. So uh, that's the wall, the security that I've, I've implemented since we sort of removed our barrier here. And this is our rubber tree farm, guys. We've got it all set up. I think it looks pretty cool. We've got uh, jungle wood planks which we talked about where we just got those from. And uh, we got lights and glass, and we've got our 10 rubber trees that have fully grown. And we've got our harvesting plan, which is right here, guys. This is a tap, a, a turtle, a, a tap tree turtle. Wait a second. <laughs> it's a tree tap turtle. <laughs> there it is, wow. Uh, now, of course, I've gone ahead and I've written a program that is going to uh, work specifically for our tree farm design here. Uh, and it's gonna go up and down all faces of the tree, uh, extracting the sticky resin and then moving to the next tree. Ultimately then, I wanna have it come to this hole where it will deposit the sticky resin and then come back to uh, a starting spot where it will charge. That's uh, kind of the whole plan. And with that, let me show you down here. This is where the enchanting table is. This is the hole where I want it to come down and uh, relieve itself of the sticky resin. And then it can come across this wall that I dug out and uh, be ready to run the next time. Actually, uh, I'm going to go ahead and clear most of this room out. At first, I thought we would leave this in and just sort of have that as like a hidden cubby where the uh, turtle comes out, but I think the more I look at it, the better it will be if it's cleared out. So uh, let me go ahead and clear this room up a little bit and uh, see what we want to do, okay? All right, so I think we've got everything that we need that's uh, already made up. We're going to use a little more of that jungle wood, I think, in our design down here, as well as uh, we're going to need to make something. Now, I did sort of let this slip already. I said that I wanted to uh, have the uh, turtle go to a place where it would charge and wait to be started again. Uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with this uh, item or not, but it's called... Um, a charging station, and there's the recipe. I just crafted it right in front of you guys. Oh, I'm sorry, a charge station, not charging. This thing's pretty awesome. What this is going to do is it's going to take in EUs, uh, the uh, power, and uh, be able to transfer that to a turtle to charge it. Pretty cool, so we don't have to worry about wasting, um, wasting coal anymore. Uh, so we can actually focus our coal coke for our boiler station, which is pretty awesome. If I could figure out a um, plan for this uh, for my mining turtle, it would be perfect. Uh, actually, maybe something in the future to uh, try and think up. I don't know how well. I'm going to have to test and see how well this charging station works before we try to implement anything that way. But that's, uh, that's a good ways down the road. So anyway, here's our extractor, and we've got it put down. And what we need to figure out is first how the, um, how the turtle's going to deposit our, um, our sticky resin and then also how the uh, extractor is going to receive that sticky resin, okay? So I think the easiest thing to do is, is to use the good old vanilla Minecraft hopper. I love these things if you guys haven't told, if you, if, if you haven't been able to tell. Uh, I'm sort of in vanilla Minecraft mode. My mind just thinks that way. Obviously, there's 
tubes and pipes and stuff that I could be using that would be much easier, much more efficient for some of this stuff. But I just love these hoppers. They're so versatile and they work perfectly. Uh, I'm going off on a tangent. Sorry. So anyway, what I want to do here is find a good spot for our solar panels to go. And I think we're just going to slap them right here on the side of the, uh, of the wall here. And uh, as we get more constructed, we can just go ahead and continue them right down the wall. But for the time being, we're just going to put uh, that one there. And I believe I'm going to go ahead and craft two more. And we'll go with three. I think that's what I have resource-wise to make at this point. we got tons of resources. It's just what I want to commit to this project, all right? So the next thing is um, a um, the MFE. We had two MFEs from before. I'm going to steal one of those for this design. Uh, I think this will help actually because the uh, solar arrays, the low the, the low power solar arrays, the ones that we have, only work during the day. They don't uh, they don't store any energy and they don't get any energy from uh, during the night. So it's good to have some sort of storage unit. And uh, for that, we're going to use this MFE. Now, I need to figure out where I want to put this thing. Um, why isn't it breaking? This isn't where I want it. I don't want to turn it. I just want to break it. Um, hmm. Okay, well, I might actually have to figure this out off camera. Uh, the layout and everything, I haven't quite got it all figured out yet. So I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll run the, our program. I, I actually wrote this myself. Like I said, it's called Extract. And uh, we're just going to watch it go. I'm going to go ahead and do some stuff off camera. And I'll meet back with you guys once some work's done, all right? All right, we're back here, guys. And uh, we got a good bit of sticky resin here from our last run. We've got nine new bits to test out. Uh, you can see our mining turtle, or our tree tap turtles finished its run. And there's some piping down below. So the basic idea is that this turtle is going to drop these resin down through this hole. They're going to get collected by the uh, obsidian pipe. That pipe is then going to flow into a hopper which will feed the, uh, um, actually check this out, stored 500 to 500, that's units of energy, I believe that's EU. So that thing's ready to actually charge up our turtle, which is pretty awesome. Let's get it down there, and we'll see if we can demonstrate this, how it works. So that turtle is just next to it. The uh, charging station, oh, did you see that? There it goes. That number is dropping, so that's saying that the stored power that it has is going down. Uh, so, yeah, awesome. Let's see. The extractor got the resin, but we were doing other things, so we missed it. Let's test this out again. There we go. All right. So the sticky resin goes up into the hopper, bink, 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 and into the extractor. Yep, there we go, in the extractor, where we'll be then uh, using a, another hopper to feed our... Um, no, no, an extractor. We'll just be feeding it into a into our, our storage chest. Right. We don't need a furnace. It's already the, the rubber is the final form that we want, at least for this station. Um, okay, now there's a little bit of a problem. That pipe just connected to both hoppers, so we're going to have to... Um, I'm going to have to make an iron pipe and uh, face it up. Yeah, that's a, it's going to have to be done that way. But that's all right. Fair enough. This is going to be a uh, iron chest. And uh, I'm thinking about putting something a little bit different in here and maybe have some plans for it for the future. But I'm going to make you guys stick around to the end of the episode to see that. So uh, anyway, here we go. I'm going to finish clearing this out. And uh, let's see what we want to do exactly if, um, I want to leave that dirt up above, but I don't want it everywhere. Cause we unfortunately, we only have one layer above us and where we're at now. So, um, yeah, that dirt's going to have to stay. But uh, here's the setup, and I forgot that this is uh, the extractor is a low-voltage machine. So we actually had to hook up a low-voltage transformer. 
Uh, it's not really that big of a deal, but uh, it's pretty. There, he's pretty easy to get put together, and so we took care of that real quick. Let's show you the power level. So all you do is you go into the Lua interface and you type turtle dot get fuel level parentheses and you'll see 1640. That's a lot. Uh, one piece of coal is 80, I believe. So just to give you an idea of what. The oh, right, guys. So we've done a good bit of work. We got a lot of rubber already. And I went ahead and I took care of the little project I wanted. Advanced electric jetpack. I finally popped for it. Um, I don't know how often I'll wear it, but it's nice to know that we have it. So uh, anyway, here's our final project. That's or product, I guess I should say. Uh, this part hasn't changed except for the fact that I got two more solar uh, panels to put in. So there's three of them there. And then here's the final product inside. What do you guys think? I love it. I think it turned out perfect. Uh, we integrated the jungle wood like I wanted to. Uh, kind of tying in the rubber theme. There's our charge station. So if we check out the uh, interface here, we see our turtle is charging. Uh, 426, that should be enough fuel to get it going. So let's go ahead and let that fire up, and uh, we'll go ahead and peek out how this thing operates. <laughs> So that uh, took almost all day for it to run. You'll see the sun setting in the background, but here it comes. It's its final cool down. It's coming down. Oh, got a little extraction bit there. And I think it should be popping in its hole now. Let's see. Oh, there it goes. And uh, if you didn't notice, we did go ahead and put a redstone, uh, a redstone engine on that uh, obsidian pipe so that the uh, suction is a little bit stronger on it. Now, the turtle's actually supposed to return down this hole. I wonder if it ran out of fuel. Uh, maybe 426 actually isn't enough to get it all the way down here. Um, huh. That's interesting. But, uh, yeah, I went ahead and I put in a monitor and a computer craft computer. Uh, I'd like to go ahead and set things up so that it, we can run them off of this computer and have sort of a display and interface. Uh, maybe read off of the items passing through the pipe, how many we got, uh, fuel levels, displays, I don't know, cool stuff like that. Something that might be kind of fun and interesting and, and different from the same old stuff that you see everywhere else. Um, so that was my idea that I had. I want to work on it. We will work on it. But here's the... Uh, Final setup, we've got the extractor here going into our iron chest. We've got a uh, couple rubber, tr rubber tree saplings, and i got a place where I want to plant one here. And this one's just going to be for looks. Right there. Just sort of, just to let you know, a little advertising. Boom, this is where your rubber, rubber tree p uh, farm is. I guess that's what it's called, huh? So, yeah, that hopefully will grow into a nice one there. Um, and, um, uh, that pretty much does it actually, guys, for the episode. Uh, just to double check things, I went, I finally went ahead and, uh, typed in the, uh, the command and it was out of fuel, which is why it didn't complete the, uh, the, uh, program like it's designed to. It's usually, it's supposed to drop down actually two more blocks before it leaves off its, uh, sticky resin, but, um. Like I said, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. I uh, I wanted to go over my extract code in this episode, but we're already pushing 20 minutes, and uh, I'm trying to keep these episodes shorter than that. So uh, 
what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, we'll, we'll commit all next episode to the extract program. So if you guys are interested to see how I wrote that, the logic that I used, and the actual program itself, make sure you're here next episode, episode 12, to uh, see all those details. So anyway, guys, this has been Titus Plays Feed the Beast. I'll check you guys all in the next episode. Okay.